Uh, hi, I'm Ben Bateman, Community Manager at Cove Masters, and today I'm joined by Chris Meek, uh, 2009 RSC champion. It's great to have you here. Um, coming into Cove Masters just to, to help out the devs, what have they got you doing today? Uh, today's been pretty good. Um, having the, most of the game set up here on the D box gives a, a lot more realistic feel. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's incredible. I've just been wiped today, honestly, by the, the Group B stuff back the Metros and the, and the uh, 205 T16 Audi Quattros has just been phenomenal. Yeah, the BMW M3 was a special. We had a look and it's insane. The speed you're going at is incredible. And obviously you get proper force feedback, everything yeah. from it. So, uh, so it's more sort of like the, the handling and stuff that you, you're talking about with the devs today. Right? Yeah, yeah, just the uh, handling characteristics. Obviously all the different cars have a different feel in real life. And we try and put that as much as we can into the game. And also when you move between gravel, tarmac and snow, obviously snow is a unique feeling to everything else. With the studs you have it gives quite a bit of grip, more than people think, because generally when people think of snow they think of no grip, but it's just trying to put all those small details into the game. Um, so we've got a few questions from uh, the forums, Facebook, Twitter, um, and covering a wide range of things. So uh, starting off from, from Twitter, we just got a, a question asking, uh, how did you get into a, to rally? Where did it all begin? Uh, quite a unique story. It's probably a little bit like an X Factor story. I, uh, I entered a I entered a competition in a magazine um, to find a young new rally driver, and 300 people went along to the competition, and I managed to win it. And the prize for winning the competition was to do, compete in a rally. I won my rally first time out, and everything just snowballs from there. So uh, I say it wasn't incredible. It wasn't pre-planned or anything. It was. Yeah. Uh, it was. Uh, just entering a competition and taking it from there. What's the biggest moment you've had in rally car? And they put moment as if they mean it can either be a win or it can be <laughs> an incredible fail, like a, a crash or something. Uh, like the big moments are the ones you like to get away with. That's generally what they call a moment. So there have been plenty of those along the years, <laughs> but uh, probably my biggest achievement to date is winning the IRC. Um, coupled with that, the weekend we won it, we won the San Remo rally, which is probably one of the most famous rallies in the world of Bar Monte Carlo and uh, we were able to win it to win the championship and uh, that was pretty special. Now you're, you're obviously uh, driving a Mini, uh, are you excited about that? How is it different to what you've uh, experienced so far? Yeah, probably uh, people don't tend to have put four wheel drive turbocharged in the same sentence as Mini but that's what we've got and it's, uh, it's an incredible bit of kit and it's my big opportunity now in the, in the world championship up against ultimately the best drivers out there, Sebastian Lowe, Mikko Herman and Sebastian Ogier. So it's going, to be, uh, it's going to be a special year and uh, so this year is a development year first but uh, hopefully we can get the Mini up to speed and uh, compete with the big boys. So obviously you've had lots of hands of time with uh, Dirt 3 and you come in pretty regular on the D-Box of course. Uh, how do you feel that compares to actually driving a rally car? Uh, normally because uh, Pro Drive and the Mini, when they've done the Mini World Rally Car is quite close by. Um, they normally tend to fit it in by doing both. I, I was testing the Mini World Rally Car this morning then I come here in the afternoon. <laughs> so uh, to be honest, the, the buzz I get from driving this is, is uh, you know, obviously it comes a close second to driving the actual WRC car but it's uh, I do get a sweat up here and I could sit here more than noon and night, it's yeah. absolutely fantastic. So uh, no, it definitely gives me a proper buzz. Do you think on that sort of note that Dirt 3 is, uh, the skills are transferable to actually competitive rally or competitive driving? I, I believe so. I, I enjoy simulation driving, I, I really take something from it, but I remember um, that we had the Dirt 2 game at Goodwood Festival to speak and Sebastian Loeb was there as well and myself and Sebastian had a competition and very quickly both of us really got down and, and destroyed everyone else in pain <laughs> so obviously uh, our abilities behind the wheel of a normal rally car translate directly to this and I think that's a combination of both you know a driver's ability but also that the game's realistic that it, you know, it translates to actual driving skills, which is, uh, which is all about it. We've got another question from John Armstrong on Twitter. He'd like to know, um, have you got any advice or tips for someone who's either a very young rally driver or someone that wants to take it up um, professionally or as a career? 
Yeah, it's a, it's a long way to become professional in, in rallying, you know, there's not many drivers out there that are fortunate enough to be to get all the way to be professional. Um, I'm one of the lucky few, so, but it's been a long, long hard road. And, uh, but see, so you have to take the enjoyment out of it, that's number one. Um, it's so easy to go out and think that you need the big engines and the big expensive cars and all the proper tires, but if you're doing that, then it's killing the enjoyment. You know, that's so you know you've gone too far. You always need to know your levels and uh, just hopefully if your talent will always shine through. And uh, probably the best advice to any young driver is get yourself into a championship, a one make series where all the cars are identical and then it's down to talent. And if you shine through that, then opportunities will come. Oh, we've got another question from Twitter. Um, do you actually play much uh, in the way of sort of video games at home? If so, what's your, your sort of favourite type of games? I wouldn't say I'm a... I'm an avid gamer. I, I have Colin McRae Rally, Colin McRae Rally 2, <laughs> Dirt Dirt 2, and uh, hopefully I'll have Dirt 3 very soon. I, I, to be honest, I, I'm very much just a driving yeah. driving gamer. Um, I have F1 2010 as well, which I quite like, but uh, definitely I'm, I'm more uh, just a driving simulator person. I'm not, uh, I'm not into kill games or, or yeah. football games or whatever, so... Uh, it's driving that's what makes me tick. Obviously we've seen Ken Block doing a lot of Jim Carner. Is that something you've explored or want to explore? Yeah, Ken's obviously made a big name for himself. Um, being a hooligan in our alley car <laughs> doing big slides and uh, it's, it makes for brilliant uh, television and YouTube clips which has made Ken so famous. So uh, it is spectacular and it's great fun to do. That's what we would term letting your hair down in a car and just going use your talent, whereas in a, in a word rally stage you're nearly suppressing all those natural uh, instincts to big slides, you have to curb all that and, and take it to the limit of sliding without actually letting it slide. So uh, it would be enjoyable to maybe team up with Ken someday and do a, a, a joint Jim Canna video or something along those lines, but uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty special and hats off to Ken, he, he, he's mastered the, the art of Jim Canna. <laughs> uh, What's your favourite part of Dirt 3? From um, what you've played, obviously, so far. For me, it's as a true rally person, is the game's really back to its roots to a certain degree um, and really getting back into pure rally. Um, yes, there's all the other elements to it, Jim Canna and all the other raid series and everything, but uh, for me, I, I love the rally side of it and the, the driving actual rally stages, and uh, in this game's are whole load of variety of all the the unique stages that there are in the World Rally Championship and uh, for me that's that's a special bit about the game. Awesome. Well thank you very much for uh, spending the time with us. Really appreciate it.